Hi, Carl from Skunk Machine here. Today I'm going to take you through the next process of the GT650 Royal Enfield build. I'll show you some techniques um, in the clay modelling, the design development and the surface development. So what we're doing here is checking the highlights and the reflections of the surface that we've created. We call this surface language. The beauty of using clay is that we can manipulate these surfaces until we get the perfect highlight and, um, and make, basically give the light the direction that we want it to travel along the surface. By manipulating the clay surface, we can direct your eye to where we want you to look. We can create highlights and shadows in areas just by simply moving the clay surface around and um, you can clearly see that with the, with the tin foil. And we've got Kevin from Scan Express here today also scanning some data and collecting the information that we're going to need for the CAD process. My name is Kevin Warwick and my company Scan Express has come in here today to help Carl with the GT650. The process is going to be I'm going to be 3D scanning the geometry of the clay panels that Carl's prepared and turn it into a digital file which will be used for downstream. I'm sticking dots on and um, the reason I'm doing that is because if we bring the scanning system into a shot we can see that the scanning system doesn't see everything all at once, it sees the area where the blue light's being projected. To allow the system to orientate itself from one view to another it'll need to uh, have some geometry that it shares between the views. So that's what's going on right now, lots of dots on the surface. end up using a little bit of um, scanning spray. So this is a specially developed uh, powder that you spray on and it will sublimate or it will disappear, evaporate within a couple of hours after we spray it. But it will just create a nice flat surface rather than a reflective surface. Okay, so the scanning has now been finished and um, uh, just take, having a bit of a review of the data that Carl wanted to collect. As you can see, both sides of the bike have been captured and um, some of the key mounting points, um, most of the fender, basically all the geometry that's going to be needed to create the patterns for uh, producing this bike. Um, it's really clean data, uh, good detail. and. Uh, yeah, we move on to the next stage.